so what we are going to do here so what we will do is you have understood the index of for now what we will do is since we will be like implementing the thing what we will do is we will create a box we will create an input type we will create a button search and we will tell the user to enter the number or the value you want to search okay and those values we will provide by ourselves we will, we will create an array and within that array the user will try to search if the user is unable to find we will print the result not found if it is found we will say it is found at so and so position okay getting so first thing first i have to go to the html html file and i have to create a form and that okay i'll show you so i'll go to my html file so in the center i will create an input i'll give it a, give a name a search uh sorry search box search box and you have input type is equal to i'll give number then id is equals to you can give any id so i'll give as the key what i'll create a button button id is equals to search search button sb then button close search search uh, search okay now i'll save my html file refresh you can see that search box there right i have created a i have created a search box there now i've done till here it's okay we are not concentrated in html let's go to the f uh, javascript file first. so how we are going to do that we will create either a variable or a constant or a let and what we will do is we will retrieve the element first then we will retrieve the value if you are not getting the concepts here it's okay just to show you the implementation part i am explaining this as a small part for document object model i will i am going to make another video so please be patient so var uh, first thing i will create our array var numbers you can even take constant 10 20 30 40 50 this is my array now i'll create a var um key i will take is equal to documents dot get elements by id and that i will put that id that i have given there what i have given there and the id is key i'll copy this id sorry i'll copy this id then come here and put this id here key see i'll change this to key key sir okay so next is your button so button is equals to document uh, dot get element by id of button what id i have given there sb this sb i'll take there sb right now now i have button and a box so whenever i'm clicking on that button means i'm doing some action so i have to add an action listener for that i'll take the variable name dot add event listener yes add event listener in that i will pass two arguments the first one is your action that you're going to do either click enter anything space or anything like that and the second argument is a function that would run when you perform that action first arguments action so i'll put a click here com sorry click here comma search function now let us define the function function search function open and close open and close here we go and now now first thing first we need a value right we need the value number keys dot value first thing what we will do we'll first consider an if condition to check if the user is searching for something other than the elements that are present in the array for that we will use this concept of index of it returns minus 1 if that element is not found so array name numbers dot index of index of what see key key is the thing user have entered since that is an element we need the value from that element so it is key dot value you got it since this it will accept as a string i have to convert this as a number and that is mandatory or else it won't work number and there we goes 
you have an if condition so this will return minus 1 if the element is not found so I'll put a minus 1 here if this condition is true you do document dot write means you change our HTML page uh, I'll take a bold tag here saying not found not found what not found I we can give that that is keys dot value not found okay so this will be printed if else document dot write uh, element is found we have to do again bold tag you can take any other tag also element found at see this position it will return the position I told you right so I'll copy this thing no need of me to write it again um, you got it here let me check the parenthesis it's okay even if you don't take numbers here it's it, there is no problem here found at this sorry position let me close the bold tag okay you understood this thing whole thing now first thing first we have created an array we're getting the elements not the values again when we click the button we need to run a function so we have passed we have added the event list now so you know how it, this is going to work I've explained every single thing here if you still don't understood don't get confused and document object model I will be explaining them in very patient and easy manner okay for implementation part of methods of array we have we have messed up with these things I hope you understood this is not a very difficult thing let me come here and refresh the page and refresh here let us enter the values uh, I will take 35 and search so 35 not found can you see that okay let me refresh it again again let us try to search the element that we have I will try to search 40 again click here element found at third position come here and see you have the third position here 0 1 2 and third position so this is how the things are working here